including evidence allegedly found on a laptop belonging to Biden. Some sort of Russian, Russian disinformation, disinformation campaign. campaign. One eternity later. Biden emails finally authenticated according to the New York Times. Yeah. It's rewind, it's rewind time. time. It's a lie. Altered or fake. Unverified emails. The story did not quite land due to the lack of verification. Let's be verified. What can't be verified? The laptop. Why do you say that? Well, because it can't be verified. I don't even want to report no, this. Well, this is the one of the well, most powerful well, because families Liz, in Washington. Liz, I'm a journalist. Okay, I would love if you guys would start doing that verification. No, we're not going to do your work for you. It's yeah, a journalist I'm contrary. Job. Not anymore. For all we know, these emails are made up. Not really stories, just pure distractions. No serious journalist should fall for it. It's a journalist's Contrary job to, to, to find out if this is verified. The bottom line is we cannot confirm the story. Experts say the emails cannot be authenticated. The mainstream media is not reporting on this story because we can't authenticate this material. Um, uh, the Hunter Biden laptop material is genuine. Genuine. This is a classic example of the right-wing media machine. It just lacks credibility. The fact that it appeared in the New York Post. The only place low enough to put this orphan bastard story in print. Obvious disinformation. It is so obviously a Russian operation. So obviously disinformation. So obviously a Russian plot. Tell me why it's so obviously a Russian plot to you. This is uh, just classic textbook Soviet-Russian tradecraft at work. Right, exactly. And this is classic, very classic. Uh, Russian disinformation tactic. Your classic disinformation campaign. We shouldn't look at it as anything other than a Russian disinformation operation. 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 Known Kremlin disinformation. Russians would be my number one guess. Obviously, Russia. Russian disinformation operation. Russian disinformation. Pushing Russian disinformation. It does bear the hallmarks of Russian disinformation. Stop being an unwitting idiot. Hunter Biden's laptop looks like it's tied to Vladimir Putin in Moscow. Is that laptop yours? I don't know. I, I truly... The, you don't know? The serious answer is that I truly do not know the answer to that. Did you leave a, a laptop with a repairman not in Wilmington? Not, not that, that you that remember. remember. No. No. I truly don't know. Are you missing a laptop? Not that I know of. What? This whole operation looks right out of the Kremlin playbook. The playbook of Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation put into the haystack. Russian disinfo. Sounds like bullshit. I mean, who takes a laptop with their most personal information, drops it off, and never comes back for it? <laughs> you read the book and you'll realize that I wasn't keeping the tabs on possessions very well for about a four-year period of time. A Russian disinformation campaign. Disinformation from the Russians. Putin is trying very hard to spread disinformation about Joe Biden. The Biden campaign says this is Russian disinformation. There's overwhelming evidence that the Russians are engaged. Russians are engaged. It's a Russian plan. Russian uh, disinformation. Nobody Russian believes disinformation. it except the, his and his good friend Rudy Gianni. So it could have been yours. Of course, certainly. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. History will expose you all as fools and useful idiots for the Russians. <laughs> the idiocy. The sheer idiocy. <laughs> 50 former intelligence officials signed on to a letter yesterday saying that the New York Post story about Hunter Biden's emails has all of the classic earmarks of a Russian disinformation campaign. Russia Giuliani. Don't trust anything that he's telling you. This is Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation campaign. Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation campaign. Russian disinformation meant to harm our democracy. Disinformation by the Russians. The fruits of a foreign intelligence operation. Part of that bigger Russian disinformation effort. A Russian intelligence operation connected to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort linked to a foreign intelligence operation connected to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort tied to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort connected to a Russian disinformation campaign linked to a foreign intelligence operation likely coming from Russia, right, Russian intelligence to people familiar with the matter told NBC News. We now know that Russian disinformation or foreign disinformation or even this, you know, campaign disinformation period is as dangerous to our democracy as anything exposed in these emails.